me those letters today that were crying their eyes out. Oh, I lost money today. I'm a baby. Traders, are you kidding me? You can't trade that way. You're acting like babies. We had a single losing day. I'm talking one in a row. And I got letters like you ain't never seen before. I had people writing in telling me how bad I was, how terrible of a trader I am. I have no risk management. We had one losing day. Wah, 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 wah. I mean, you know what? Before we go through with this, let me just read you a couple of these real fast, all right? I'm not going to spend too much time with them. Just yesterday, I did a YouTube video for you traders, and in that video, I read you this heartfelt letter about a guy who tells me I'm saving his life and saving his 11-year-old daughter from an uncertain future. I was winning, right? I had one losing day, and I start getting letters like this. Oscar, how do I cancel my membership, please? I want out. Oscar, I've been with the Omni now, and I've been burned. The amount of money I lost due to your calls was not that big. However, it caused me to miss other trading opportunities. He goes on to cry a little further, and then he says, I know this is not easy, but could you please not trade just because you think you have to? Why would you provide an Omni when you are not sure? You know what, Mark K? Kiss my Omni, baby! Are you people kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm not a baby! I'm not staying with this! I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm putting on my gloves, and I'm coming back out, and I'm going to be throwing some punches, baby. Boom, bang. I am a traitor. I don't cry when I lost. This is called the crybaby syndrome, and you guys have to be kidding me. How many winning trades, how many winning strategies have I given you in the last two years, and what do I get? Oscar, you suck. Oscar, you have no risk management. Oscar, I went out of the Omni Trading Academy. One day of losing trades. One day. Traders, could you imagine you crybabies if we lost three days in a row? How about five? A trader who lost five days in a row. Could you imagine? Well, you know what, traders? Most people lose five days in a row. Most traders lose almost every day. You've come to the Omni Trading Academy where we're kicking butt for you traders. So you keep your dukes up. You look for the Omni every day, and you trade through the trades. Listen, losing is an integral component to trading, traders. If you're not prepared to lose, you're not prepared to trade. I'll tell you that right now. I don't want to hear any crying from you, traders. If we had a losing month, I'll listen up. We had a losing day, I don't want to hear it, crybabies. Keep it to yourselves. All right, enough of that. Dukes are up, right? Right, baby syndrome? All right. Traders, losing is absolutely an integral part of trading, right? There is no way to have winners without losers. So, if we're having a losing day, you got to deal with the traders because our accuracy level has been through the roof. As you traders know, we've made lots and lots of good calls. You got to deal with the bad ones, traders. Take the good with the bad. Now... With that in mind, I got a chart on the board I'd like to show you. Let's get to some analysis. Let's stop kidding around here. Let's do some homework, traders. Duke's up. Let's go to the charts. Okay, traders, the only chart I will put before you this evening is the S&P Daily Bar Chart. First thing I'm going to tell you is do not fall in love with the upside, traders. I don't care what the street thinks. You need to look at what the chart is showing you. We had a massive head and shoulders and then a drop into a parallel. Now we tested the top of that parallel on Tuesday and we opened up just above it on Wednesday evening or Tuesday evening, I should say, for Wednesday's trading. We do expect the possibility of a little bit more of a rally traders, but maybe not anything higher than the previous lows that we just broke down from. It could stick its head up there a little bit have one more day next to it, and right back down we are going to go, traders. This will be the two-day rule. If this works, and it likely will, we trade it every time we see it. If you get two big up days in a bear market, you expect a turnaround after that. We had a big up day Tuesday. If we get one Wednesday, I am looking for the turnaround, and I suggest you traders do the same. Traders, we are bears in a bearish market, and we had a one-day rally. One-day rallies do not make market bottoms or bull markets. Traders, pay attention to your analysis. 
We have a trade set up at the Omni Trading Academy to hopefully capitalize on a small bit of the upside that we expect. But then we are expecting it to go right back down again, traders. So keep that in mind. Do your homework. Look for the parallel channel. Look at where we are. Look at your indicators and see what you think about the S&P market before you trade. So traders, you see that chart? There is a little bit of room on that chart for some upside. But I'll tell you what, traders, I'll say it again. Do not fall in love with the upside here. We have not been able to see two day back-to-back -back rallies for weeks on end. We get a day and a day and a half usually, and it turns. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we don't have a lot of economic figures coming out. So you may get one more update on Thursday. We got some boomers coming out, and it's going to send us right back down. With that in mind, we have what I like to call a turnaround omni for tomorrow. We are buyers early in the day. We will likely be looking for some sort of flip towards the end of the day tomorrow. However, we are not going to impose our will upon the markets. We are going to let them tell us what to do. The analysis does set up for a rally first and then everybody out and watch out for some downside. We'll see if that analysis holds through as the day goes by. Traders, this video is for Wednesday, 3-11-09. We do have a green omni to start the day off, but again, we think it's going to turn around at some point and end up being a red omni, so be careful for tomorrow. Traders, always place stops, always place them first. You know what? <laughs> One more note about being a trader. Listen, traders, if you think that you're going to have all winning trades or you're going to win every time you play, your best bet is to find like a five-year-old kid and play cards and cheat them so that you can win every time. Because that's about the only game in town where you're going to win every time. Losing is an integral component of trading. I'll say it again. If you're not prepared to have losses, well, then you got to get out of town. You shouldn't be in Dodge. You shouldn't be trading the commodity markets. It is the brass ring of trading, traders. It's where all the professionals get together, especially in the S&P, and try to outsmart one another. We have gone on tear after tear of winning trade after winning trade. Every now and then a loser slips past. You know what, traders? That's almost impossible to do. You Omniacs who've been at my site for the last two years, you've seen some incredible things happen. You new guys, you need to sit tight and learn that losing is part of this game. I know, albeit I got you spoiled because we're not used to losing at the Omni Trading Academy, meaning you traders who show up. But I've been doing this 27 years, and I am telling you, losses are part of this game. Get used to them, traders. I am not going to put up with this again. Next time we have a losing day, the guys who cry the hardest are the guys I'm going to penalize somehow. I don't know, maybe I'll make you wear one of those hats I was wearing. We'll put you in the penalty box somehow because you need to learn how to suck it up and eat your losses just the way you traders eat your profits. For you traders that, of course, as of today, I don't have any risk management skills at all. Whatever you think you can do better, do it. You, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm making you suggestions how you should trade a certain market. If you have better risk management techniques than the Omni, feel free to use them. If you can beat the Omni, you are hired. You will sit right next to me starting tomorrow. Anyone who can beat the Omni, you got a job with Oscar. I'll tell you that right now. All right, traders, we're out of here. Give me a call anytime there at 702-629-4755. Make sure you come to the site and see the Omni set up for tomorrow. It is www.livewithoscar.com. All right. All right, traders, I think I've made my point. We'll see how many of you show up tomorrow with your binkies in your mouth. We'll see what happens. All right, traders, back to serious trading. Get ready, get those dukes up, because you know how we are, traders. We keep our dukes up at all times, right? All times, throw those punches, and you end up standing at the end of the fight. All right, traders, say to see subs every morning, every afternoon, every evening, because it'll help you keep your emotions out of trading, and you know what that is? Stops are in. Emotions are out. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I'm a 27-year seasoned trader on and off the trading floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years.